Welcome back in another video review, guys. Uh, today in Fuerteventura, in Coroleco. This is the uh, Los Lobos Highlands, and today we're gonna review the RC4 after 100 miles. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch, never miss, man, I always stay up. Don't let them see you, bitch. Always have a plan to stay tough. This life ahead of you ain't easy, it was built to be rough. But that's what makes a personality. It is tragedy, bro. Uh, so keep your head on your shoulders. Now we ain't out here moving rocks. We out here moving boulders. Now we ain't getting postal rides. We out here making posters, and we ain't got nothing to hide. We move forward like soldiers. You better wake up for the pay stub or you'll pay up. Don't make love to the game, bro. Fuck the game up. Change up for your range stuff to your greatness. Same us for the way you can find all the specs the of this shoe in the initial video review, which link is up here. Uh, which all the information related to the weight, uh, drop, uh, stockade, and uh, so on, including uh, the running dynamics. Say that, let's split the video in three main chapters. Uh, overall condition of the half sole, mid sole, and upper after 100 miles, my impressions, and finally the conclusions. Let's start from the half sole. I confirm it's not that stiff like uh, the half sole of uh, the Audio 7. Uh, you can even hear that from the sound. The condition is still perfect, no major signs of wear, uh, despite we are not talking about uh, a continental rubber in the household, but uh, I believe uh, Adi wear. The grip on the road is okay, but not great. The gravel path or dirty roads uh, is so-so, but it doesn't collect any stones. So in general, a good outsole, uh, my prediction is that uh, it will last at least uh, at the 300 miles, uh, because there are no signs of wear, even in the spots where I used to land. So well done Adidas, um, a good trade-off between quality, um, quantity of material used, uh, uh, grip and duration. Let's talk about the midsole now, but guys before to go ahead make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and to smash the like button if you like this content and activate the notification bell if you want to watch uh, more uh, video review and my beautiful face. Let's keep this channel growing, uh, you guys are making me happy. But let's continue now with the midsole. We all know that the light strike foam is stiff and firm and um, this shoe has a full light strike foam midsole. So basically it's a pretty firm uh, uh, midsole, uh, perfect for who loves the ground feel like me, for instance. On the other hand, if you're looking for cushioning and comfort, uh, it might be not exactly the right shoes for you. I have to say that uh, as expected, uh, after 100 miles the midsole got less uh, firm uh, this is also visible by uh, the several wrinkles on it uh, and uh, that makes the shoe slightly more comfortable but still responsive. So it won't be your favorite shoe if you look uh, for cushioning even after 100 miles uh, but of course ensures a bit more comfort at least more than uh, at the beginning. The spotted foam is still uh, in perfect conditions uh, as well as the torsion system which has some uh, scratches uh, but still performing great. I remember when we left the boost foam uh, for the light strike, uh, uh, we didn't like it, but one of the characteristics of this foam is to last more uh, than the boost foam and uh, it is also lighter. So prediction about durability in this case is uh, uh, at least at the 300 miles. The harshness tested uh, with the durometer confirmed the expectations uh, because it's slightly less stiffer and the running dynamic as well because the efficiency and the response uh, are basically the same and they are pretty good check them out in the initial video review measured using the garmin hrm run strap let's now come to the upper finally uh, testing this shoe in the canary island uh, um, was somehow the confirmation of what uh, it has been said uh, during the initial video review. Uh, the upper is not that breathable uh, as the previous version, especially at this latitude. I really can feel it uh, um, and this could have uh, a negative impact uh, uh, on the performance, of course, because my feet were uh, hot after a long session of 18 kilometers. On the other hand, it is made of a resistant fabric uh, with a stylish overlay material, uh, which I hope and I wish uh, uh, will be applied also in the Hadio 7, because basically, from my point of view, looks much better. In this colorway, it doesn't get dirty soon, uh, and um, last but not least, it rasps and keeps uh, my foot in place with a great foot lockdown, like at the beginning when uh, it was brand new. 
So I would say Adidas just more breathability and then uh, this upper will be ideal. It could be already ideal for runners who uh, are located in different uh, latitudes uh, uh, much colder than uh, the Canary Islands. But for sure it has a great durability. The impression that I collected during these miles um, are that the RC4 is a very light and responsive shoe, uh, so perfectly especially for uh, fast workouts, uh, even in the track, especially for lightweight runners, uh, it could be seen as a daily trainer, but remember, no cushioning and dolly if you like the ground feet. Whatever, not for long distances. I run uh, 24 kilometers uh, on it and um, at 4 minutes 30 seconds per kilometer pace, and uh, I have to say, my knees uh, were on fire at the end and um, I'm pretty light. In regard to response, uh, uh, it's great, uh, as I said, especially for uh, fast workouts, ideal for interval trainings, for instance. Uh, for tempo run, it is good, uh, but not so good as other shoes uh, um, I like, for instance, the Boston 11 or the uh, Asics Evo Ride 2, uh, which support better the transition and rolling motion, uh, thanks to the more cushioning and uh, to the rocker in the forefoot. So, in conclusion, for training, I like the RC4 especially for uh, fast workouts and interval trainings even in the track. I still like but I prefer other shoes for tempo run. For lighter runners uh, it can be used as a daily trainer only if you like the ground feel and not for long distances otherwise you will feel the heat of the fire. For racing I believe they are perfect for a 5k race. So guys I hope you like it and as always, as always, thanks for watching and till the next time Keep running. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, of it. no. To give up If I do something Man I do it Till I get what I want I turn a business Out of nothing Into something I love I got a poker face But honestly I'm not one to bluff I flip a switch Never miss Man I always stay up Don't let them see you bitch Always have a plan To stay tough This life ahead of you Ain't easy It was built to be rough But that's what makes A personality Is tragedy bro